Hello, this is Makadoji bringing you some more Dark Cloud 2. In the previous video, we got through more of the Rainbow Butterfly Wood and made it to the Swamp Area, which uh, unlocked fishing for us. And also beat the uh, first Red Limited Zone, so we couldn't use Max, which is nice, because now that's gone for good. I'm not looking forward to... Actually, eh, the blue one! The blue Limited Zone will actually be fine, because Max actually is a pretty good level right now. But in this video, we're going to continue and uh, basically continue the swamp because we didn't even explore the entire swamp. So over here, we have a lake, which is nothing over here. But there's a spot over here that we can go to. Let's see if we go over here. Oh my god, what is this? It's a monkey! Cue the DK song! Hey, isn't that Master Uten? Yeah, the return of Master Uten! So, uh, you will see that a few guys from the previous game do make a return. Now, I'm fairly certain these guys aren't the actual same characters. They... It gets a little weird with trying to explain it, it's, it's like a different, like a parallel universe, you can say, kind of like that. So while it's the same character, it's not the same character, if you know what I mean. You'll, you'll also see why later on as well. You know that thing? Is it safe to go closer? Yeah, it's alright. He's a pretty well-behaved monster. He doesn't hurt people. But it looks like something's wrong with him. Is he okay? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Oh yeah, and this is where we learn about his voice and it seems completely different than what you'd expect. Humans, hmm? I don't see them every day. Now that I think about it, there was another half pint bumbling around earlier. It seems so weird to see him speaking like this. You see, you think like a, a deep voice, a more, uh, a primal voice. This is like, hey man, it's nice to meet you, like, that's all cool and whatnot. It's, it seems so weird. Although the hippie one actually, because of the headband, it actually does kind of make sense. This forest starting to get nice and crowded these days. Although you also have a bit of southern in there too. Never mind that. You look like you're in pain. What happened? It's pitiful, really, but I was awful hungry and somehow got my hands on the forbidden fruit. When I did, my whole body just up and froze like this, and I couldn't move. My fault for messing with the Holy One's food. I'll bet the Holy One must be pretty ticked off right about now. So you ate one of these, huh? Hmm, those look familiar. It's a poison apple. No wonder you don't feel so good. Never mind, don't worry. You'll feel better after you rest for a while. By the way, who's this holy one? The holy one is a great fish who's brought happiness to this forest. A holy fish? I mean, Jesus was a fisherman. Monica, maybe this has something to do with those three back there. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to understand now. This Holy One must have bewitched those three somehow. I bet the Holy One is really a big fish monster. Well then, Master Hutan, where can we find this Holy One? Didn't you see a big old swamp on your way here? They say the Holy One lives in that swamp. I haven't seen him myself yet. Swamp, huh? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Let me see. A big fishy monster named the Holy One that hangs out in the swamps bewitching people. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Uh, I mean, speak for yourself. I mean, think, like, if you think about it, like, 
monsters that are in the water are scary as fuck. Because normally, you can't see where they are. Like, have you ever been jump scared by, like, a crocodile that, like, comes and, like, attacks you like that? Fucking scary! Or have you ever seen Jaws before? Jaws, at least you can hear the sound. Before it even gets you. Let's go check it out. Right. Thanks, Master Utan. You've been a big help. Hey, don't forget to mind your manners when you're dealing with the Holy One. I mean, you should mind your manners in any case. So yeah, we have to try and uh, meet this Holy One. So yes, this is the swamp he was discussing before. Why don't we try fishing it out? Oh, what a coincidence! We got the fishing rod! Huh? Fish it out? Well, we've got a fishing rod. We know the Holy One likes poison apples. And we've got plenty of bait. Let's give it a try. Go on now, try it. Uh, okay. I love how Max is just so kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say against it, but like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's not overly excited to do it. He's reluctant. That's what I'm thinking of, reluctant. Okay, yeah, so it's essentially telling you a fish with a poison apple. So, hmm, I wonder, do we know any fish, special fish, that you have to fish for using poison apples? Especially from, like, the first Dark Cloud game. Hmm. I wonder... Those of you probably who have played the or watched the other game, you probably know what I'm talking about or getting at. Oh, uh, that's not the equip I meant. There we go. Okay, so hopefully this fish is a lot easier to fish than the last uh, than the last one in the game, like last game, not like the last fish I caught in this game, like the last game I had to fish it in. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh. That was quick. Come on. Ah, there we go. Oh, I don't even get to reel it in, really. <laughs> I don't even get to really reel it in. Ah, I'm funny. Ah, the line broke. Oh! What's going on here? There's a hook stuck in my beautiful lips. Is this your doing? I won't forgive this. You're the one that made the little ones act so strangely. That is a big fish. I know, not the movie. But yeah, that's the biggest Martin Garion that I've ever caught. Like the, I mean, the other ones were pretty big in the last game, but this is... What the hell has it been eating? But yeah, one thing I do like, with, this isn't a time where flamboyant characters were actually using games and were actually like, I actually like the flamboyant characters in the game, but Nowadays, no one uses flamboyant characters because it's... How should I put this? It's... Insensitive. Where it's like, some of the best characters are flamboyant. Like, I love this character, but they wouldn't have him in uh, any other games. And that also reminds me of another flamboyant character they uh, actually changed. Uh, World of Warcraft during Cataclysm. One of the dragon bosses was super flamboyant, and it was amazing. But they changed it during the uh, PTR. So then they just made him a normal dragon. Probably because they didn't want to make flamboyant character and have him tied with like villain, which is stupid because they just have normal guy. It's, uh, it's, it's so stupid sometimes. 
I want more flamboyant character representation in my games. You must change them back. Oh yes, more victims of my beauty. Really, beauty can be a curse, you know. Anyway, why are you here? I already told you. I want you to change those little furbits back to the way they were. Well, such a thing would be quite simple, my dears. But nothing comes for free, you know. Business is business, and everything's business. Oh boy, this is gonna be another pain. You know... It... That... Wasn't not true what he said. So what do you want us to do? Ooh, so the little boy understands too. Listen carefully then. I won't say this again. Mwah. As everyone knows, I'm very fond of beautiful things. But here's the thing. Recently, you know, I've become a bit, well, dirty. Oh, you oh, dirty, so dirty girl. Or dirty, dirty boy. But listen to this. Dirty, dirty fish. There's a fish called the Prisleen Fish that can clean up all the dirt from my body. So what I'd like you to do is go over there and catch it for me. You've got all that fishing gear, so you may as well use it, don't you think? Well, do you get my drift? <laughs> A pris clean fish. So yeah, so I just realized this, but in these first two areas that you really do, they really try and introduce new mechanics to you. Like a new gameplay. This is the fishing. And the next level introduces uh in my opinion, one of the worst things to be introduced into this game. But that's gonna be not important until then. Okay, and when we get it, we want you to return those three back to normal. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell a man twice. What? You're a guy? That just shows how sheltered Monica is. I'll be waiting. Can't a man be obsessed with the beauty? Of course he can. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one thing you want to do before you leave is actually, uh, if I can get a better angle, is take a picture of King Martin, because that is part of the inside scoops. And if you miss him, that is another one. Oh, I forgot. I I thought for a second that I did, I missed that one. Uh, if you miss it, then yeah, it's gone for good. Uh, same with Master Utan. Uh, because you want to do while it's in pain while eating the forbidden fruit. So you want to take a picture before you complete all this. That's two pictures you might miss. So let's go over here. Master Utan. There we go. Because yeah, Master Utan disappears. King Martin disappears. And so does your chance. I don't think... I don't think you miss anything from making it. You just miss inside scoops, which... Uh, taking more inside scoops is actually good because you do get certain rewards for doing so. So it's it's best not to not to miss them. But normally you'd go over here and you try and get a pristine, uh, pristine fish. However, I already have a pristine fish! So actually, uh... I don't think... The Furbits are anything worth taking pictures of. Fish monsters one. Okay, nothing. I thought I thought you had to take a picture of that, but I guess not. Anyways, uh, Mr. Mar oh. Mr. Martin, I have your fish. There you go. <laughs> you. Oh, excellent! 
this lovely bristling fish will kiss all the grime off my body and make me look stunning again. <laughs> oh, but you already look stunning. Yeah. Oh. Right, you promised return those three to normal. Oh yes, of course. Is this what you were after? Mwah! So now those three are better? Well, why don't you go have a look? Well, uh, please excuse me. I wish you the best. <laughs> well, he's certainly cheerful. I'll give him that. Let's go and look. Right. I swear, they use the same voices over and over again. I swear I've heard that, let's check it out, and write multiple times in this game so far. And same with Max is like, what's that? Reused voices over and over again. Is it... Did they do this in uh, the Japanese version too? How is everyone? Oh, they suddenly returned to normal. I'm so relieved I can't tell you. Were they all hiding behind that log? What in the world have I been doing? I cannot remember a darn thing. Last thing I remember, I was thirsty. And I drank some of that swamp water. Ew! I can't remember anything past that either. What in the world happened to us? You've all been under the Holy One's spell. Why would you drink swamp water? That's disgusting! The Holy One? Who's that? Like, that's even worse than drinking piss, in my opinion. At least piss you know where that's from. You don't know where that swamp water's been. It's a fish monster that lives in the swamp. You guys almost ended up trapped here forever. Oh, that's crazy! Well, what are we gonna do about Holly? Oh, sure, we gotta look for Holly. Hold on, guys. We should come up with a plan first. Let's go back to Sindane. Yeah, so we can't go any further. We have to go back to Sindane. Oh, yeah, because that's interesting. Yeah, if there are more monsters, yeah, you can e freely exit. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, same with the other game. So let's move, let's go to the entrance. And now, is it night or... It is... Dusk? Morning? Dawn? Dusk? I'm not sure. Anyways, I need to go to Sindane. In any case. And over here is the hobbits. You know what? Yeah, I'll just call them hobbits. Furbits, hobbits. What's the difference? The hobbit's house. Although the ho a hobbit hole is much better than what they have here. Although with my size, I probably wouldn't really ah, enjoy you. a hobbit hole. Is everyone all right? Much too small for me. Boss! We were gone a long time. What have you been up to? We'll tell you everything later. What about Holly? Where is she? Where's Holly? I am sorry, but Holly isn't anywhere. She's everywhere. Okay, hold it a minute. Listen, you two. Now that we've got everyone together, it's time for us to hold up our end of the deal. Ah, yes. Now we can rebuild the town. In return. Can I ask you two to go search for Holly for us? I mean, we're going through the forest anyway, so why not, I guess? By the look of things, I guess Holly really did find that legendary rainbow butterfly. It must be true that all those who lay eyes on it never leave the forest again. The only way to find Holly is to find the rainbow butterfly first and fall under the same spell. And then, just break the spell, of course. Oh, yeah, it's easy, no problem. Rainbow Butterfly, huh? I don't know. Do you really think it exists? 
All righty, we got ourselves a deal. We'll help you guys out, and you go find Holly Farris. All right? All clear? Didn't even answer the bloody question. Okay, we'll try. It's settled then. You better get a move on, lads. Yeah! So, this is now going to be introducing a kind of familiar uh thing with the uh with this game. A, a new mechanic, I should say. It's similar but different at the same what are time. We do? I have no idea. What in the world's that noise? What's that thing? Oh my god, it's a mustachio friend. I mean, seriously, look at that stash. It is beautiful. What the heck is that? I don't know. I love how wow. Max is literally like wow. That's an angry I can't robot. It. This is just amazing! What an incredible machine! <laughs> how cool is that? Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, it's <laughs> funny how Max is so, like, happy about seeing this, because, I mean, it's a machine. Every young boy loves machines. You like that, eh? With this thing, you can make anything you want. Plant trees, build houses, whatever. Truly amazing! Can I get on board? Sure, by all means. This here is the control room for our pal, Carpenterian. This is the ultimate building machine, forged from all of the technology handed down through our further generations. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things too, even trees and rivers. To be fair, rivers you can I can make like without it being natural. Looks like we can bring back Jurax's origin point with this. Hey, don't forget to find Holly for us now. Yes, we know. What's that? It's the poop hole. That's the reactor where you put the geostones. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. The geostones contain all the advanced knowledge of the ancient ones. Carpenterian is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the geostones to make new things. When you put a geostone into the reactor, Carpenterian can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the Geostorm. So essentially... That way, you can make new things. Just to warn you, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. Okay, so essentially, the Geostones are at low. Except they don't actually give you the things to build, they give you the information. You still have to make it. I think it's like Monica said. Someone changed the forest here. But if you collect the geostones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great. We'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. You bet. We're counting on you to fight, Holly. Ah, okay, this will be introducing time travel! Huh? It's a time gate. You can pass between this time and mine through this gate. You just use that stone, you're at Lamelia. 
What? You mean this redstone? Actually, I think this is the first time we've actually... Well... Technically, this is the first time... Well, not technically... Technically, the first time was during the uh, Red Seal. But this is, I think, the first time we're actually getting, like... Being told it's at Lamilia. That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. I mean, that's a little different than the at Lumilia in the last game. I mean, although, in this game, the at Lumilia are, like, essentially color-coded. But, uh, the last one it wasn't really a, a certain color. It was more of, a, like, a white. So maybe it's the white at Lumilia? And the one I've got is the blue at Lumilia. They each have their own powers. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. When we get Jurak's origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold in a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? Huh, I wonder why. They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. What? Me? Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the Rainbow Butterfly. I guess you would know. Now we've really got to get to work. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the Great Elder, Jurak. Alright. You now use Carpenterian, so why don't you try rebuilding Sindane? When you change Sindane, it may affect other things in the world as well. You jump through the time gate a hundred years in the future to check. You may meet people you've, knew, uh, you've never met before or find new events waiting to happen there. But first, right now, your main priority is to bring Jurak back. Bring back your same meaning. So yeah, so if you go here, you see the little icon on the end. If you hit the select button, you get into uh, carpentry mode. Essentially, Georama mode from the last game. So you can make things, you can clean up. Culture is essentially trying. Actually, analysis essentially is trying to get a hundred percent here. So yeah. That's essentially, it's essentially like the last game, but uh, you can also uh, paint houses and things. And in this game, you actually make houses instead of uh, place them. So you get a lot more creative freedom with what you want to build. And uh, let's actually go to the future and see... Wait, where's the time gate? Uh, where is it? I think it's over near the tree over here, yes? Ah, there we go. So let's actually go to the future and see what we can find. There's nothing here. Except maybe one hobbit. You know, lately it's kind of lonely. Feels like something big's missing, you know? Anyway. Yeah, so. Ooh, wait. Chest. Potato pie! So, the chest return, yes. Yeah, so, the chest will actually appear in the future. So, you do want to look for the chests uh, every now and then for in the future times. Ah, there we go. There's one. Here we go. Give me, give me a fruit of Eden. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So, uh, where is it? Potato pie is Max's defense. So now they have the same defense. And fruit of Eden is the health item. So now they they still don't have the same health, but that's besides the point. Okay, so very nice. So, our goal will be to try and change this future to try and bring back the, uh, the big tree. And I thought the big tree was kind of like the same name as the, uh, the big tree in the last game. But no, I forgot that the last tree was uh, Trent. 
This is Jurak, so they're slightly different. But one thing I do want to go uh, is I actually want to go to Palm Brinks. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually start um, inviting people to uh, go with us. So if I speak to... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I guess not. I thought I could start inviting people. Ah. I swore I could start inviting people. One second. Let me just double check. So I believe for this character I need to be Monica. So if she doesn't let me speak with her. No, okay, never mind. Yeah, let's get out of there. Okay, uh I'll figure out when I can start inviting people, because I thought I could do it now. But maybe it's a little in the future. Maybe. But you know what? That will do it for this video. So, in the next one, we are going to continue uh, going into the what? Wise Alphars? No, 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 no. The Rainbow Butterfly Wood, and maybe getting a few Geo Stones to try and help rebuild the town. And depending on when it starts, maybe start inviting some people, perhaps. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Let me know, do you prefer this game's uh, diorama or the previous games? And before I actually end it, I just want to double check it because I do... There is a guy here that I need to talk to. If I speak to him... Okay, no, never mind. Yeah, so yeah, I can't invite anyone right now. It's a bummer. But until next time, see ya, and stay golden. The way to celebrate I'll be waiting till we make it Journey.